Hello everyone and welcome back to the AGF channel. Today we have a tutorial for something that might look a little familiar to those of you that follow us on social media. This reverse applique star block was so popular that we just had to make a video showing you how we did it. We decided to add a little twist to it and make it into a tote bag and use star templates that are a little smaller to fit more hand stitching. But don't worry, all the templates, including the larger star, can be found following the link in the description box below. Without further ado, who's ready to make this block? Here is what you will need. Four two inch by width of fabric strips of fabric A, two two inch by width of fabric strips of fabric B, two two inch of width of fabric strips of fabric C, two one inch by width of fabric strips of fabric D, two one inch by width of fabric strips of fabric E, two twelve and a half inch squares of fabric F, one twelve and a half inch square of batting, a ruler, a rotary cutter, small scissors, pins, a hand sewing needle and a threader if you need it, a fabric pen or a chalk pencil, embroidery floss, the square template for accurate cutting and the star templates that you choose to work with. Start by taking two of your fabric A strips, your fabric C strips, and your fabric D strips and sew them together into two units. Do the same with your other fabric A strips, fabric B strips, and fabric E strips. When your strips are sewn, take your square template and line it up with the two black lines in the middle following the half inch strip in the middle. Use your ruler and rotary cutter to accurately cut out nine strips from each strip set, totaling 18 squares from each combination and 36 in total. Lay out your squares as you see here. Sew them together in units of four first, making sure to press the bulky seams on the back like a pinwheel to help reduce the bulk. Lay one 12 and a half inch square of fabric F down, followed by the square of batting, and then your sewn square right side up before placing the second fabric F square on top. Grab your star templates and place them how you would like, right side up on top of your block sandwich and pin in place. Stitch directly on top of the lines. Shortening your stitch length here can help you when we tear away the paper next. I used about a 1.8 Carefully tear away the paper without ripping your stitches. If it helps, use a small pair of scissors or tweezers to help get all the paper off. Once the paper is gone, take your small scissors and cut away just the top fabric F inside each star point. I found that using a seam ripper to cut a little hole first and then using my scissors to cut away the rest Help to make sure I did not cut anything underneath. Take your fabric pen or chalk pencil and draw your twinkling stars and shooting stars and whatever other stars you can think of. Have fun with your hand stitching. Use multiple different colors and different types of stitches to mix it up and make it yours. I used a running stitch and a few cross stitches here, but feel free to use a back stitch, a stem stitch, or even a chain stitch if that's how you're feeling. Finally, fold your block under a quarter inch on all sides and sew to your tote bag. I seam ripped the side seams of my bag, attached the block, and sewed the sides back up, but you could also hand sew it on using an invisible stitch or even a blanket stitch to add another hand sewn element. This 12 and a half inch block can easily fit three stars of your choosing and as much or as little hand stitching as you wish. Make the smaller stars into a pillow or the bigger star template into a wall hanging. The possibilities are just about endless when it comes to this block, and we would love to see what you come up with, so make sure to tag us on social media. Until next time, Happy New Year and Happy Sewing!